Ah! Uh, uh. We did just stop on the road here to see some of these large termite mounds. At least that's what I stopped for. This one is actually extremely tiny, like really, really, really tiny. They get much bigger than this. This one is, again, tiny. There's a centipede. My favorite thing about this spot is all the flies buzzing around my face and head. Yeah, that's the best. Love flies. So we're here in the red center of Australia. It is warm. The second I stepped out of the vehicle, I began to be swarmed with more flies than I've ever been swarmed with in my entire life combined, which is special. Uh, hoping to find a red Aki in this little zone and we we're about, what, 500, maybe five or six hours north drive of Alice Springs yet, which is where we're hoping to find the thorny devil that I've been talking about and maybe also some bread eyes. <sighs> Troy and Ewan are back there flipping rocks for us, looking for Ackies, and I mean, I flipped a couple rocks too, but these guys are really being a big help, actually. This is the one thing about the Outback that I just can't stand is these flies. And the wet season just started, so these flies are completely out of control. We just got an Aki, look at that. Yes! Aki time! Alright. A little Acanthurus. Alright, look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Brian is covered with flies. Troy is covered with flies. The only thing not covered with flies is the Aki. Hey, nice catch there, buddy. That is just ridiculous. I don't know how the hell I'm going to film my video with all these flies. <laughs> You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Oh look, there's finally a fly on yeah, the Aki. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's Find any way someone. out of these flies, dude. No, there's not. Flamethrower. That's the only thing. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go make an Aki video. You do whatever you need to do, Dave. I'm just gonna sit here in fly country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can really truly see or appreciate how many flies are flying around my face right now. It's surely not showing up on the camera as much as it's showing up in my face in reality. It's probably about 20, 30 flies buzzing around my head, landing on it every second. And uh, you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We just found a red Aki. A few flies in the face. It seems like a small price to pay. <laughs> the flies are driving me nuts, dude. I, I'm like, there's nothing I can do about it, I don't think. Except just accept the fact that my life is now flies. I wonder how cows do this all day long. They just do it. I need to become like a cow. I need to harness my inner cow and just accept the fact that there are flies. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's taking every ounce of my being to not freak out about how many flies are on my face. It's good. It's good. Did I mention that in addition to red ackies, there are flies out here in the red center? All the wind, it's called the flies away. Insane. So it's pretty cool that we actually got to find some red ackies out here in the wild. I actually have somebody that um, has offered to uh, gift us a pair of red ackies for the educational program to take a little little tiny monitors like that to show the kids. I think that'll be fun. And so all I need to do now is uh, go watch the video Dave's about to put out whenever it comes out and it'll explain all the little intricacies about how to care for a red Aki. Is that correct, Dave? That's correct. And when am I getting these Aki's? Uh, wait, what? Huh. <laughs> in all honesty and seriousness, I, this is the most amazing fly experience I've ever had in my entire life. So, thanks Australia. Thanks, Ewan. Tell me all the things. We are... Um... <laughs> no idea. Dave, you're a brave man to still be out there filming the flies when the rest of us are back I am very dedicated backing. to my channel and the rattlers that watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave says he's dedicated. I think he's just nuts. <laughs> well, isn't that what dedication is? So we're rolling down the road. These guys decided it would be a good idea to let Dave drive, which, you know, I, I was fairly okay with that idea until Dave decided that uh, we didn't really need to refuel at the stops yeah, that we not saw. That's accurate. And now we're, uh, it's not accurate? No. We, we didn't stop to refuel while Dave was driving. We are now at about empty, 
and potentially too far away from the next gas stop to make the drive. I say, I say we're gonna make it. I they, say we're gonna make it. A second ago he said, what did you say, Dave? I didn't say anything. I said that nobody <laughs> told die. me that the next gas station was over in New Zealand. <laughs> Dave says, I thought we would have run out of gas, gas by now. <laughs> And I said, did you guys hear me say that? No, you didn't, so I didn't say that. Did he say that? Yep. yep. <laughs> you guys can't believe a word that comes out of Dave Kaufman's mouth. We didn't find Ackies, he doesn't know anything about them. We didn't find centipedes, we didn't find anything on this trip. I'm a fraud. <laughs> we, all of these animals have been planted, everything is false. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, we're actually at the Hilton, we've just been doing circles like two miles away. You know, just so it looks like we're actually on the outback, but... I'm gonna use my outdoor skills and make petrol out of spinifex grass. Don't you worry. If you guys don't ever see this video, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? But that means that we're dead somewhere on the side of the road in the outback. So, it's been good knowing you. Uh, if we weren't gonna die, I just want uh, my family to know that I want my remains spread around Disneyland, and I don't want to be cremated. And you guys know what I want. I want to be cremated. I don't care who has to go to jail for it. It still flies. So we're driving along and I look over and Dave like nonchalantly kind of puts the gear shift in from third into drive. <laughs> He's probably driving forever in third. Every time he took his foot off the gas, like the car would slow down. I was like, why are you hitting the brakes? How long do you think we were driving in, in third? Maybe three hours. Hours, yeah. yeah <laughs> but we yeah. made it. That's the no, point. No, it was like it was maybe a mile. Yeah, I hit sure. It with my yeah, knee well, well, we already know we can't Don't trust you anymore. Yeah, so, th um, but I'm glad we did make it. We the, did. The alternative was not make it and pull off at the side of the road and then have to get out of the vehicle because we be way too hot inside, There's and eventually uh, uh, get eaten alive uh, by flies. Yeah. Come to the outback, they said. You lose weight, they said. Some big marbles, eh? I'm up on top of the devil's marbles and it's still fly seed. The flies are just, I, I can't, they're, they're eating me. Help! Flies! I think it's the devil's marbles. My last stop, flies, eating my soul. Again, the link's down in the description, and you can go see. Ow! <laughs> well, you're not gonna see that on Dave's channel. <laughs> but that was fantastic. Epic. My first snake bite in Australia, dude. I'm freaking loving every minute of this, man.